guys, so I have January's makeup bag, and these are the products that I'm going to be using for January. And I do this this way that it's easy. When I get ready in the morning, I'm not all flustered, and I'm not looking at all the stuff I have saying, what should I use? I don't know what I want to use. And it definitely saves time. It makes me realize how much I love some of the stuff I have, instead of this bye 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 bye. And, you know, it makes you realize, like, oh, wait, I already have a shade like that. I don't need to buy, you know, whatever product it is, whether it's, like, blush or eyeshadow or lipstick. So it makes it easy because I feel like, for me, I get to use my products more, learn more about them, learn if I really like them or not. And for me, I just feel like I really enjoy it. <laughs> so I'm going to get into the bag and the products I picked for January. The first thing I'll get into is the thing out of the bag. <laughs> and it's just big as why it doesn't fit in the bag. So I have this Elsa Beauty book and I got it last year. It was like a Walgreens limited edition exclusive by e.l.f. And this wasn't that expensive. I think it was maybe six to ten dollars. I don't remember how much it was. Inside we have like this nice little beauty book and it has eyeshadow that has like a highlighter, has eyeliners and a lip gloss. And it has like a little mirror and it has like how to look in it. And I feel like I barely really use this so I want to get some use out of it. I mean I think it's cute. You know it's a nice little beauty book. And you can see I sort of scratched out Elsa because it just, that shadow I got mad when I tried to use it and it just wasn't coming out. Like on my eyes, I felt like the pigment wasn't showing up at all, so I just scratched it out, and I was just like, I'm done. <laughs> so, I have some nice, like, neutral type of colors in this palette, and I figure I'll use this in, like, one week, one palette. I chose four palettes this month. This is one of them. That's for, like, eyeshadow, and I figure I'll get some use out of this. So, I'll basically give it, does it designate a week for this, and I'll use this all week. I'll put on my dresser. Okay, so I guess I'll start off with the other palettes since I already did Elsa. <laughs> okay, so first I have an e.l.f. palette and this is the Nude Rose Gold palette and I bought it earlier in the year but I never really got to use it because I kept buying more and more stuff. So I finally want to get to using this. So basically for me I'm going to use this for one week during the month and like I said, see what looks like it could be from it because it looks like it has some nice pretty neutral colors and I'll get each out of it. So next I have Elf's Mad for Matte palette and I actually just recently ordered their second Mad for Matte palette that just came out. This is here in the colors and I feel like it's good to have like a matte palette so what I might do actually is I might not just use this one for a whole week maybe I'll use this with this one <coughs> for the week like maybe what I'll do is I'll designate two weeks for these two and you know use them together in those two weeks like I'll give this a week I'll give these two together two weeks and then the other palette I picked for the last week so the last eyeshadow palette I picked was my Too Faced Bon Bon palette, and this is another one I haven't really gotten to use yet. So here are the colors. I feel like there's like a lot of nice cool tone colors, and they create a lot of nice looks for winter. So I felt like this would be like a good palette to use in January. And I did wear the Sweet Peach palette, so that's coming soon, but I feel like I'm going to save using that one for more of the spring and the summer, so maybe I'll start using that one like March, and I'll put that in like March's makeup bag. I mean, I'll probably play around with looks, just at home, but you know, just like getting ready in the morning, like these are the palettes I'll be using. So yeah, it's easier and I'm not like fuddling around saying, what should I use in the morning? I mean, <laughs> sometimes having too many options isn't a good thing. Okay, so next category, I have his blush, and I'm gonna try the City Color Be Matte Blush that I got in my Ipsy bag this December. And for me, it gives you three shades. It gives you Fresh Melon, Blackberry, and Guava. 
So I feel like it's a good shade selection because then I can use three different blushes instead of just one. And as you can see, really nice peach color, like the mauve type of color, and another pink. Then next I have lip products. And the first lip product I have is this NYX Butter Gloss, and this is in Strawberry Cheesecake. I wanted to put a lip gloss this month. Next, I have an e.l.f. Moisturizing Lipstick, and this one's in Ravishing Rose. It's like a nice dark, dark pink color. It's just like a lot of cool tone color thing for this month, because I feel like with winter, we like a lot more cool tones. Then next, I have a lip liner, and this is by Essence, and it's Deep Pink. Cool. So I want to get more use out of this. I also have this e.l.f. Matte lip color in tea rose. It's like a nice neutral type of color. Let's watch this for you guys. So here's tea rose. It's like this purpley nude type of color. And here's the pink for the liner. And here's Ravishing Rose. Yeah, I feel like this lighting didn't really do me any justice here. <laughs> And here's the butter gloss and strawberry cheesecake. If you want to see the swatches for this blush, it's in my Ipsy unbagging video for December. I'm not gonna swatch all the eyeshadow palettes because that would just take forever. I forgot to mention I do have some eyeshadow singles here. So I have ColourPop's Catnap, which I just got recently. And it's like this nice shimmery type of shade. Ooh, I just noticed this elf lipstick has a crack in it. This doesn't go bad. I had that with two of my other elf lipsticks. They got cracks in them like that and then they went bad after that. I mean it's only three dollars but just hope it doesn't go bad. Then I have elf smudge pot and ain't that sweet. And this piece is like an eyeshadow base. You can use it as like a plain eyeshadow alone or as eyeliner. So I like this. This is like a multitasking product. And I also have Bella Cappuccino from the Milani Bella Eyes line. And this is a satin matte. It's like a nice like brown color. So I guess I'll add these two in now. So I added in Air. My ColourPop, also for the product. And that's a Fashy. And then I added in Alyssa from ColourPop, which is their Ultra Satin lip. And that's that top shade there. Okay, so this I carried over from last month, and it's my e.l.f. Tone Correcting Powder. As you can see, I'm hitting more pan on it. I hit a lot more pan this month in December. I mean, it's still December while I'm filming this, but I figure I'll put it up so you guys can see what I'm using in January. Okay, so next, I have two more products. I have my e.l.f. lip balm tints, and I have Rosie Rocker, which is from last month also, which I'm carrying over. As you can tell, I put pan at the bottom there. It's like a little tiny dot. And I also have grapefruit, which I've also hit pan on. I have the e.l.f. BB cream that I'm using this month. I did order the e.l.f. Aqua Beauty Foundation. I'm going to try. But I figure I have the BB cream at least. I've been trying this since I got this like a month ago too. And it's working out okay for me so far. Not too bad. I have eyebrows. I chose the Essence Make Me Brow product this month. I've used it in the past and I liked it, so what happened was I was in Target and I was looking for the e.l.f. Um, brow pencil and taupe and they didn't have it when I was in the store, so I picked up this instead. But I did get another e.l.f. brow pencil from e.l.f.'s website. Next, I have the e.l.f. Shadow Look Eyelid Primer. And I used this in the past and I really liked it in the past, so I want to get back to using it again. Because this isn't that expensive. I mean, you go through it really fast, which is the only bad part, but... It's like a nice white color and makes your shadows really pop and it works pretty good. It holds onto your shadow like all day. So I like that. Next I have eyeliners. I have this Jessie's Girl eyeliner with cold formula and lilac shimmer. It's like a nice lilac color. 
I have ColourPop Skip Paid Cream Gel Liner. I have this e.l.f. it's like a double end eyeshadow stick and eyeliner. The eyeliner unfortunately like in the summer broke off and now this part's like breaking off. So I can only use the other end which is the eyeshadow. So I figured it's got to be in a corner. I can use an eyeliner which I've done in the past. And this is in the shade Pearl. Then I have the e.l.f. I forget what this is called. I think it's a waterproof eyeliner and this is in Quaffy. And the last eyeliner I have is Honey Dude by ColourPop. I like having a nude eyeliner. And the last two items I have, I'm carrying over the Pepsi Rose Gold Duo. Um, it's a blush duo. And this I like using as a blush topper or like a highlight. So I feel like you can use this shade here as a highlight. I even think you can too. Let's see, it's like a nice highlight type of color. And I think it's like a like a pink highlight so I'm gonna carry this over so I enjoy using it the last thing I have I'm carrying over from last month also which is the bare minerals it's a sample of the bronzer it's the skinny bit and as you can see I have like a nice dip going in it so I've been using this a lot too and I really enjoy it I mean probably if I kept using this in a period of a couple months I probably could actually finish this well, maybe it'll take me a while, but I did enjoy using this, so it's awesome. It's like tiny too, so you can just throw it in your bag and not worry at all. And those are all the products I chose for this month to use. Well, it's not January yet while well, I'm filming this, but this is all. these are all the products I chose. And like I said, I want to work on these products, see how much I really like them, and if I don't like them. And, you know, some of these are new products that I just haven't really gotten to use yet. And I'm going to stop ordering more and more stuff, because then, you know, then stuff like this happens where I have the stuff I don't get to use yet. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and... I'll see you guys soon in my next video, and if you want to see my December bag and the products I use in December, I will put a little video at the end of this video it's for my monthly makeup bag playlist. I just started it last month, so if you want to start from the beginning, it's only one month. And I also do Ipsy unbagging, Dollar Tree hauls, other haul type videos, which I have on other playlists if you want to check out my channel. And if you're new, you can subscribe if you'd like, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!